Hey guys, so this is Advanced Dialogue 2, two character sequence. So in this class we're going to focus on action and reaction between two characters. You can use the dialogue I have in the file here. You can include your own dialogue. For this exercise we want to keep it about 10 to 15 seconds long and no longer than that. Um, remember our workflow. First we do the lip sync on the characters. So what do I do in a two character sequence is we'll just do the lip sync on one character, it doesn't matter which one, and then do the lip sync on the other character. And then we would do the body animation and then the facial on both. What I usually do is I take a look at the scene and I see who's talking first, like who speaks first, because whoever speaks first the other character will react to what the first person said. So usually I'll animate the person who speaks first after the lip sync is done on both. I'll animate the character that speaks first and do all the body animation for that character. And then I'll go to the other character and do the, re the initial reaction and just do all the body animation for the, for the second character. We'll take a look at the blocking for this animation, break that down, and then we'll take a look at the final animation and break it down as well. So this is the blocked version. Uh, I did lip sync on both characters, then blocked it out. They just want to give you their blessing. Oh, great. Now I need their blessing? Well, if you want to be a part of this family, yes. And who says I want to be part of this family? Uh, you did when you married me? Well, there's some fine print for you. <gasps> So she speaks first, I animated her first, and I just started her I just started her in this pose. Because you listen to the dialogue first and you sort of decide how they're gonna be standing, just to start off the piece. So we're just looking at her right now and the girl. The first thing she says is they just want to give you their blessing. So I want to get her into this pose. They just want to give you the word just. So it's the vowel is you and just. They just want to give you their blessing. So she hits the U right in the the word just for her first pose. But then we anticipated that first. Remember you step back on the timeline and include your anticipation pose? So this is her anticipation. And then just on blessing we have the uh, accent. So she stays in the same general pose but she just accents on the E in blessing. Okay so she's reacting to what he's saying at this point. She straightens up. She holds her position after the word blessing. And he's saying, oh, great, right? He's not thrilled about that at all, and so she's going to react. Oh, great. Now and she goes into this pose where she's a little bit appalled by what he's saying. She's not too sure she likes his attitude, right? So she goes into this position with her, um, with her hand on her hip, and notice the pose. If you draw the line of action through, she's posed in this S-curve. Again, when you're posing your character, remember all your curves and your silhouettes. Well, if you want to be a part of this family. Okay. And she says, well, if you want to be a part of this family, yes. A blessing? Well, if you want to be a part of this Okay, so I posed her on, the main pose here is on the A and Wana. She goes to the extreme, but we anticipated that first. So on the timeline, I would, I would mark a key frame here, and then we would tap back on the timeline however many frames to get the anticipation in. Anticipation pose, and then our main key pose. Well, if you want to be a part of this family, yes. And then I posed her out on family, on the A in family. And a little anticipation for that as well, mostly with the hand and the leg. So she brings her legs back because she's going to swing her arm out. Her whole upper body is going to move a little bit. So the leg comes back just to um, give her some torque and energy, transfer the energy into the upper body. At the same time, we're anticipating and we're paying attention to arcs at the same time with the arm going out. While she's going through this whole movement of... Well, if you want to be a part of this family, yes. The whole family yes part is arcs. Her whole upper body uh, bounced down and up and then down and up again. So we're thinking about you know our S and C curves, our nice poses. And we're thinking about our silhouettes, arcs. This family, yes. And who says I want to be part of this family? She overshoots right on the E and yes. And then she holds this pose for a while. Yes. And who nice silhouetted pose, C curve. She's angry at this point. So remember our mood posture and posing. When characters get upset and angry, the pose is usually a little more rigid. So instead of a C-curve, I kept her body, her upper body remains straight. Arms are symmetrical and everything's just really straight and angular here. Legs are straight, upper body's straight. So this is more of like a V-curve, really. Because she's upset, we don't want to have her relax. She's more tense. Be part of this family? Uh, you did? And there's a nice little hold after, uh, and so we get her into that pose and hold it. And this makes for a nice little silhouette here. Uh, you did? She hits this pose right on the OO sound in, in U, so the OU vowels. You did when you married me? 
And then when you married me, we hit it on the A and married. But of course, we, we went into an anticipation pose first, brought her down, and back up on, right on married. So the overshoot is on the A and married. And then we just have her come down for that gasp at the end. And we overshot that down and then she settled back up again. So that's what you want to shoot for, something like that. Of course, create your own poses, um, come up with your own interpretation, with your own poses and timing. Let's take a look at what happens with him and this blocking. They just want to give you their blessing. So nothing at first, he's just listening. Also too, when you're, when you're planning out this animation, you really want to be thinking about when you're blocking your animation. You also kind of want to get an impression of what their facial animation might do. So when you're thinking about how they're going to move through their dialogue, actually have an impression in your own mind as to where they might look. So when you go to do the facial animation, the animation's already there and you just put in the eye direction and everything comes together real nice. So let's take a look at him. He's just listening at this point. They just want to give you their blessing. Oh, great. Okay. So he goes into this, this post for, oh, right? You'll notice there's a little um, accent on great. So he stays in the general pose. We give him a little movement, a little accent for E and great, the EA. Now I need their blessing. In this um, example here, it's it's two accents in the same general body pose with this C curve, but he gestures a little bit with his hands. So you can include in little gestures too. Great. Now I need their blessing. Right on the E and blessing, he goes into his next major pose. And also this is, you know, a nice silhouette as well. Blessing. And we anticipated that as well. We included an anticipation pose. The anticipation pose is right about here. Even in the blocking, we included these wrists dragging as he's lunging forward. And this is a quick movement on blessing, so we overshoot it. Blessing? Well, if you, want to be a you see the overshoot and then the settle. So anticipation, overshoot, and settle. Blessing? Well, if you want to be a part of this family, yes. And you'll notice a little bit, she's saying, you want to be part of this family, and he doesn't like that either. So we put in that little accent there. Now it's really rough. I was thinking to myself, I'll cushion that later. Um, and I'll probably put a blink in there as well, and maybe an expression change on that little accent. Be a part of this family, yes. And who says I'll as soon as he hears part of this family from, from her, he's just like, oh man, I can't believe this. So he goes into this, we got him into this uh, this really extreme pose here where he just smacks his head. And who says I want to be okay, so we just simply went from this extreme pose. We're going to ease out of this. Instead of anticipating, this is kind of an awkward pose to anticipate from. I mean, you could do it. You could bend at, bend him at the knees a little bit, but I just chose to ease him out of this pose and get him into this the next pose on this next piece of, the, of his dialogue. And who says I want to be part of this family? Uh, Making sure there's nice arcs here, which, which is easy to do if you're using the FK arms and everything. It's easy to get that, that nice arc through this motion into his next pose. And who says I want to be part of this family? Notice the tilt of the, the shoulders and the design of... Um, where the arms are, they're both sort of sweep, sweeping out a little bit as he's gesturing toward her with a bit of a shrug as he's saying like, who says, right? I want to be part of this family. Uh, and then that's a little, that's an accent. Accent slash gesture change, right on the A in family. family? Uh, you did when you married me? Well, there's some fine print for you. <gasps> okay. For the dialogue, well, there's, and then we pose them right on the E in there's. Right, uh, the E in theirs comes up right here. Oh, there's some fine. Okay, but we ch I chose to, for this, just some creative anticipation here, we torqued his upper body, uh, swung his right arm forward and his left arm back, and then he goes into the, for this big pose uh, on theirs, he goes into the opposite, where that other arm, this arm goes back and this arm comes up, right? So it's nice to be creative with your anticipations as well. Make it one fluid motion sometimes. And actually, he anticipates on the E and well. Well, there's some fine print for you. <gasps> fine print for you. <gasps> okay. So that's our blocking. Let's take a look at the final animation. They just want to give you their blessing. Oh, great. Now I need their blessing? Well, if you want to be a part of this family, yes. And who says I want to be part of this family? Uh, you did when you married me? Well, there's some fine print for you. <gasps> Okay, so let's just check her out for a minute. They just want to give you their blessing. Oh. So at this they point, I'm, I'm making sure the foot steps. To do those steps, we break the translate Y tangent and just get her foot stepping here. Also, too, I'm breaking the uh, tangents on the head, the rotate X on the head, just to get that a little bit of drag. You notice when she anticipates up here, 
Just as she starts to move forward, there's a little bit of drag on her head moving back as she starts to lunge forward. At this refining point, I started putting some motion on the fingers in the graph editor, easing the fingers after she actually strikes her, her main pose. I just want to give you their blessing. Oh. Also, at this point when we're refining, we, we can offset some of the arms a little bit. So you'll notice her right arm. She gets into her final pose here and her right arm, her right arm continues to swing and settle a little bit. So you want to offset stuff like that. Now I when we're refining, we want to, in the graph editor, focus on one, one movement at a time between one key pose to the next. And you work on uh, what's happening in between those two key poses. So from between here, between this anticipation pose and this final pose, I wanted to have the drag on the wrist. I want to make sure that this little bob that she does is, an, is a nice arc. Her head sort of bobs in, a, in an arcing motion. So I would select the rotation values on the wrist, break the tangents if I need to, get a nice overshoot with the hand, and settle. So between these two poses, I'm really just working on the arm and the head because the hand's on the hip. The root control as well, that controls the whole upper body and the, the arcing. So I would really work on the, the root, the arm, hand, wrist control, and the head in this particular you be situation. Yes. You want to make sure you get these arcs. Be... There's some drag on the wrist as she moves into this you see the drag right there on her right on her right wrist. It kind of overshoots and settles as well. So you want to get all that fine stuff in there. And notice the uh, the drag on the head as she moves back. The chin sort of dips down, and then and that's all mostly rotate X and Z. After we go through and make all those fine revisions, um, for her there was some secondary action that needed to be done on the. She's got a little tuft of hair that hangs off her bangs here and then her ponytail. We just go through and animate all that stuff too. So for her I didn't include the hair controls in her button that we used to select her body. Uh, because it's secondary action, I don't want it to be part of the keyframing for the, the blocking. So I just animated that after and just did them separately as separate passes. So on the blocking we just went from this to, to this. So when I went to go refine it, I had him, his arms swing around a little bit so it gestures toward her and we get this nice arc on the guy here on his hand. There's a nice arc that, that happens here. The whole arcing motion. And, and that's all just done with all the rotation values of the shoulder and maybe a little bit of the uh, the elbow and wrist as well. And also to some drag on his wrist. And then into a fist. And you can see the moving hold on both of them. So after you've done your blocking timing and you've, you've refined the animation, you're going to start with the facial animation. So again, I would choose one of the characters to do the eye animation on first, do all the eye directions, thinking about where you want to put the blinks as you go, then do the blinks and the brows. Remember that line of action through the brows, bringing the brows down on blinks a little bit, just a subtle amount. They just want to give you their blessing. Oh. For the male, you can check out his blink in this area. You'll see the brows just come down a tiny bit. It's really subtle. So the rotation on the eyes, the rotate control on the eye, upper eyelids comes in handy for this kind of facial expression. Offsetting the eyebrows at times as well is nice. So this exercise really is all about action and reaction between two characters. Having them to re react to each other in, in a comical, sometimes comical way, but it all comes through through your posing and the timing and the posing. Then the facial expressions really, really add to it as well. And remember the attitude poses. If somebody's upset, they're more tense. These are all the things you need to remember when you want to convey to an audience uh, how a character's feeling. Of course, the dialogue makes it obvious, but if the animation, which is the, you know, the posing and timing, facial expressions. If all that comes through, everything we've learned in this program so far comes through and you employ everything, it just makes the, the whole performance extremely entertaining for the audience and clear. So when you go to refine your animation, I recommend you do it the same, you kind of ha have the same uh, thought process or order of operation as you do with the blocking where when we're posing the character out, we're working on the whole center of the body first. First the root and then the spine controls and the head. You get that posed out first and then you pose out the arms and then the legs or legs and arms. When you're going to refine your animation, I would suggest you do the same thing as you, uh, you refine the area between each key pose, but you refine first the root and then you refine the spine controls in the head and then refine the arms and, and then the legs. A lot of what you're going to be doing is putting drag and overlapping action on the head and on the wrists and even the elbows and feet as well. This is going to be a great piece of animation for your demo reel. Uh, it'll show your potential employer that uh, you understand how characters react to one another in an entertaining way. So create some really nice poses, finesse your timing with your blocking, that's the most important part. 
If you'd like to send us a video with the lip sync before you start blocking, that's fine. We can give you some feedback on that. Just make sure that your video is close enough that we can see the mouth and your curves are off and you want to shut that light off too. Just so we all, just so we see the polygons and, um, and we can see the mouth pretty clearly. A new video for the blocking and uh, you get feedback on that and then the refined animation too. We'll do a couple rounds of feedback or retakes on, on that as well and get your animation really polished because uh, the monologue in this two character sequence and even the lip sync and gestures, you can go back and refine that as well. And these are, these are all nice acting pieces for your demo reel. So you want to really polish them and get them as refined as possible. And we'll help you do that. If you have any questions, as usual, we're here to help.